1941, Winston Churchill made the V for Victory hand gesture in a powerful move of defiance against the deadly conflict of World War II and the Nazis. Interestingly, in Hogs of War, one of the spy's old abilities was referred to as the Victory or Whisper ability. Seems awfully similar, wouldn't you say? I've touched on this ability before in the Meet the Old Spy video, however recent discoveries have found that the Whisper was actually kept in the game for a much longer period of time than what was previously thought. Not only that, but it was adapted to be included in the arsenal of another rank of pig, changing from simply being a spy-only ability. But we'll dive into the development of the Whisper later on in this video. For now, let's break down what the Whisper actually does. So back in the Stone Age of Hogs of War, the spy had 30 HP. Because it was originally intended to be such a vulnerable class due to its low health, it had to have a strong trick up its sleeve in order to balance things out. Hence the creation of the Whisper. So what did it do exactly? Well, as it usually is with most of the old content in Hogs of War, the Whisper was never actually fully implemented, so actually physically seeing the ability at work cannot happen in game, but we do have its description from the game's original design document. To quote said document, If a spy moves adjacent to an enemy pig, then the target will doubt the validity of his own side struggle. The target will immediately strobe between the two colours of his own team and the spy's army. If the target's controller, so the player, does not manoeuvre another of their pig to the target before the end of its next turn, then the pig will join the army the spy is operating for. If the pig was due to move next, the player's pig will be put at the rear of the queue. So the Whisper could be used in one of two ways. The first and most obvious method is to gain an extra pig onto your own team. Interestingly, the Spy could use the Whisper on almost any class of pig unless they happen to be inside a vehicle. The only class that was immune to the Whisper's ability was the Legend, which makes sense considering they were the strongest class on the battlefield. Now, the second way this ability could be used is by drawing pigs out of position. Remember, if you use the Whisper, you are placing your spy next to the enemy pig. So the other player or AI must then move another of their own pigs next to the pig being targeted in order to stop the effects of the Whisper. Of course, that does raise several other questions though, like what if the AI or the player has two pigs that are stood next to each other? Can the Whisper affect multiple pigs in the same area? How many times could the spy use the Whisper? Regardless of the answer, the Whisper ability was a risky maneuver if used by the spy, as the game's design document states, most pigs from a distance have a good chance of taking out the spy before he can perform a Whisper. But the old spy certainly fit into the high risk, high reward category of pig. 30 HP left this class extremely vulnerable to any kind of attack if spotted on the battlefield. But if this class remained untargeted by the player or AI and the battle drew on, they could become an extremely valuable asset. Of course, at the same time, the spy would also become a great annoyance to any player having to face the use of the Whisper late on during a battle as moving your pigs out of position in order to save one of your other classes from swapping teams would cause you once again to make a decision. Do I proceed to move my pig and cancel the Whisper or do I remain where I am, allow it to happen and instead take out both the spy and the Whispered pig instead? It would all depend on multiple factors, such as the amount of time given to you per turn, the amount of health the Whispered Pig has, and where the Whispered Pig is on the battlefield. So at around the time Hogs of War reached its alpha stage of development, the structure of the career paths within each class had started to take shape. The game was moving away from its prehistoric look and changed into a more modern style. The espionage class was different to what we know to be today, consisting of a sniper as the lowest rank, the spy in the middle, and the saboteur, as the highest rank, which I know may sound strange considering how today the saboteur is more associated with the engineer class. It's made even more confusing by the fact that the saboteur used to have the commando's character model as well. So all of a sudden, at this point in development, the spy is no longer the only pig that holds the whisper ability, as the saboteur now carries it within its arsenal as well. The interesting part though is that originally the concept of the saboteur didn't actually exist in the game's design document, it was just something that was put together as the game's development progressed. So now we end up with two ranks of pig within the same class that can use the Whisper, which raises even more questions. As we talked about already, the Whisper is made out to be a high risk, high reward ability by the fact that the spy had so low health. 
So would the saboteur have sat in the same category? Well, seeing as this pig ranked higher than the spy, it wouldn't seem to be the case, as typically pigs of higher rank automatically tend to have more health. And this is where the entire initial concept of this ability tends to go out the window, because if other pigs besides the spy hold this weapon, then what exactly is the point of the spy? The sniper within the espionage class does not have the whisper ability at its disposal, so it wasn't a weapon that was available right from the get-go if players decided to take that career path. Nevertheless, Hogs of War's development would in turn shift away from the idea of rank-only weapons and abilities and instead look to adopt a specific set of weaponry that was readily available to each rank within each class. For instance, the espionage class today now consists of a scout, sniper and spy who all have access to two main abilities, the pickpocket and the hide. As you climb through the ranks within the espionage class, you gain either low quantities of new weaponry or a high quantity of weapons or abilities that you already have. It may not be true, but personally I feel the Whisper ability eventually evolved into the pickpocket, or at least the pickpocket is the replacement. Despite it not existing in the final version of Hogs, I feel like the Whisper would have worked to some extent in the game today. Perhaps not necessarily in the single player campaign, but multiplayer would definitely feel like a more valid option. But what do you guys think? Let me know everything you have to say in the comments below, including your answers to the questions that have been mentioned in today's video. In the meantime, that is going to wrap it up for everything, so don't forget to check out some of my other videos if you haven't already. Come join the Hogs of War Discord, and I will catch you guys later for the next one. Right, you putrid porker! You should be proud of your hogs! I've given you, um, ooh, um, do -do -do -do, five additional promotion points to decorate them with. Are you listening to a word I say? Repeat after me. Minefields are very bad things to wander into. Now, press your button, and we will be the richest nation in the world! Just imagine, just imagine, limitless swill supplies until the end of all time! Oh, God, don't mess it up!